I don't understand it. I don't get it. And I will never, ever be like that. Hey guys, good morning. It is. Can you shut up? It's about noon. It is Thursday, which is my laundry day. In this house, we have certain days where we're allowed to use the washing machine because if we all just randomly do laundry, then Emin's mom won't be able to do laundry and she gets very mad. So I'm done with my period. Oh my God, it's the last day. So that's just like amazing news for me. I'm gonna take a long ass shower right after this. I recently re my hair. I used a new brand. I'm really happy with how it looks because the brand that I was using before kind of made it uneven and now it's really even. So feeling pretty good about it. And then other than that, today is really just a day for me to help Emin with his band because he has some stuff that needs me to help him with, which I'm gonna help him with because I don't usually have time. And then I'm also gonna hang out with my little brothers-in-law brother-in-law's brothers because I'm leaving in like a week. I'm moving out of this house and I've been here for so long and we got very close. We're, we're good friends, okay? So I'm gonna hang out with them too as well. Them too as well, them as well. Them too also, whatever. Them as well too. Them as well too. <laughs> anyway, so it's gonna be a good day. Let's take a shower. Oh. Are you still in bed, Evan? Danny. I stayed up till three in the morning. That's not my fault. I was talking to your ex late last night. Is that weird? You know my ex and that makes it all feel complicated, JR. It all seems complicated. You walked in my life. I don't know if the lighting is terrible or not, so that's cool. Hi, I'm in the car. I'm taking Norman to the park. Norman is my dog, if you don't know that for some reason. I'm gonna show you what he looks like right now because he's sitting in the front seat and he looks like a human and it's really funny. But anyway, I'm going just down the road to take him to play because our dog is really energetic and he gets a little bit uh, mischievous, is a good word. He doesn't listen as well and I think it's just, you know, generally not as good for him when he doesn't go out very much. Other than that, uh, I mentioned I started watching Curtis Connor a couple days ago in my last video. I think I have an addiction to watching his videos now. I know that sounds really dramatic and a little bit weird, but I'm just trying to portray the fact that I cannot stop watching them. It's like, I started watching his videos and like yesterday, the day before and the day before that, I literally watched them all day long. Like, I don't know what my problem is. The videos are just so good. Like, so yeah, I can't stop watching Curtis Connor, but something is happening to me right now when I film. Basically, when I film in a car, then I like hear my voice reverberating back to me and it kind of freaks me out because I like realize that I'm talking to myself and I start to feel really weird about it. And I'm like, I'm the only one in this car. I mean, except Norman, but I'm the only one in this car and I'm speaking to a camera and it makes me feel really weird. So I'm gonna stop talking now and go play fetch with Norman. Do you know where we are? Do you know where we're about to go? Do you know what we're doing, Norman? Are we gonna go outside? You don't look very excited. Well, I can tell you look excited, but I don't think the viewers can tell that you look excited. Can you give me something more? Can you give me a little more emotion, Norman? Can I get a high five? No, that's not a high five. Can I get a high five? Yay, good job! Wait, wait for me. He's literally just peed all over his foot and he doesn't even care. Are you ready? Come here, come on. Go get it! Nope, you ran the wrong way, dude. Yeah, good boy, Norman! <laughs> Guys, I'm about to do my makeup for the day. It's kind of late, it's like 3 p.m. I was thinking the other day, and I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys, that I have a bone to pick with every YouTube girl ever. Like Emma Chamberlain, I don't know, the Merrill twins, Corinna Kopp, all the girls in the vlog squad. My beef with them is that I look nothing like them. I know that sounds like weird beef, but I'm mad that all these girls are so pretty. Not that I think I'm ugly, okay? I'm not gonna come on here and say, oh, I'm so ugly because I don't think I'm ugly, okay? These girls have beautiful outfits. They always have long nails. Their makeup is always good. Or even if their makeup isn't done, like it's always pretty. Their Instagram pictures are like perfect. They're all like super skinny, but also have really nice butts. These girls look like 10 all the time, like just straight 10. And I I don't understand. I don't understand how you can do that. I don't get how people take the Instagram pictures that they take. I don't get how they get the angles that they get or how they dress the way that they dress. Like, let me just show you guys. This is what I look like. These are, these are my recent Instagram pictures. This is how I portray myself to the world, right? This is what these girls look like. Do you see the difference? I don't understand it. I don't get it. And I will never, ever be like that. And you know what? 
I've just kind of given up because I've been feeling this way since I was, you know, 16 years old and comparing myself to these girls. And I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's genetic. I don't know if it's their money. I don't know what it is, if it's talent, if it's just something I'm not born with. Maybe it's Maybelline. And again, guys, I'm not saying that I'm ugly. I think I'm a pretty person, but I just don't think that anybody would put me on the same, you know, level as somebody who's really famous on YouTube, like one of these girls. Like, if I get more followers, if I reach a million subscribers, am I just gonna magically get hot one day? Because I feel like all of these people, they get rich and they move to LA and they make all this money and then suddenly they're super hot. Like, maybe it's just money. Like, maybe I'm just too poor to, <laughs> to look as good as these people. I don't understand. I don't get it. Now, I don't think I should care, so I don't wanna set some example that like that is the ideal, cause I don't think that is the ideal. I don't think that's how girls should strive to look because like I said, I've been trying to do that since I was 16 years old and it's never worked out. Haven't gotten there yet. I feel like I just need to accept that I will never be that and that's okay, you know? So that's my fun realization that I came to the other day. Oh, why is my nose so dry? You see that? Oh. What my distribution was approved. So I have a song coming out February 26th. Woo! Do you think I'm as pretty as the other Instagram girls? You no, know? I think you're way prettier. <gasps> and I... <laughs> I'm drinking kombucha, which Emin has like every day because he is, uh, as they say, addicted to Diet Coke. All you gotta do is put a drink in my hand. That's a country song. Anyway, he needs to always be drinking something. It's like a mental problem of his. It's gotta be kombucha or Diet Coke or water or sparkling water or something. So he buys these every day and I started to like them a lot. I used to like them growing up a little bit, but now I like them like a lot. But anyway, right now I'm going to help Emin out with his band because he's coming out with his first song in a long time, in a couple weeks, like less than a month. And he basically is gonna message a bunch of people and ask them if they want to cover his song because it'll obviously help get the word out about the song and help show people the song. It's a really awesome way to do it in my opinion. Definitely wasn't my idea. I'm going to reach out to people on behalf of him and ask if they're interested in covering his song. So if anybody watching this video makes covers or likes to sing, then it'd be super helpful if you could cover Emin's song when it comes out. Oh yeah, comment below, I'll send it to you. Yeah, so leave a comment or message me on Instagram and let us know if you want to cover it because that would be awesome. Either way, I wish you were. Here. Don't say anything's meant to be. Hey, if you think we crop the video just right, it'll look like we're in a Tesla. Oh. Say hi to the camera. Hi. I was wondering if you guys remember and if you can tell the camera what my rules are. Every time I ever hang out with Emin's little brothers, then they have to follow my rules because I like to keep a, I like to run a tight ship. I don't really, I just like to have some rules. So it's very clear how they're supposed to, you know, be in my car or in my house whenever they used to come over in Tennessee. So, Ellis, Essie, can you guys tell me what my rules are? Do you remember them? I always wipe the toilet when you pee on it. No, that, that is a rule, but that's not my rule. Well, I, I know what What is it? Always have fun. That is a rule. Oh yeah, no yelling at you or no disrespect. No tattletaling. No, that's oh, yeah. not no title. Mind your own business. Mind your business. But your business is your our business. No, I your mean, business, business is, is your my business. business. Exactly. Is there anything else? Oh, there's one more you guys forgot. Every day is opposite day. No. <laughs> oh, not bad for yourself. Yay! So if you guys ever move back to Tennessee and you come over to my house again, you can follow my rules. But my rules aren't hard to follow, right? One of them are. Which one? Mind your business. Always have fun. Because <laughs> I, I don't always have fun every day. Oh, okay. Hi guys. It's like midnight. <laughs> I have a huge problem, Danny. What is it? Way too many people that are verified follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Emin and I are currently DMing people. Did I tell them this? What's happening? Yeah, okay. We're currently DM people. Still on that because we have a lot of people to go. And almost 12 people have said yes so far and we were expecting one out of every 10 to say yes. And we're not at 100 yet. That's good. So good news is you guys are going to be seeing games we play covers all up in this bitch. Yeah, which is, which is pretty exciting. I'm really sleepy and I want to hold my son. Hey. You don't want to hold me? I also just FaceTimed Jen, Jennifer, my bestie. No, but I keep hearing people say, hey, bestie. You know, that's like a thing that people say right now. I feel like an old woman. I'm so not up on the trends anymore since I got off TikTok, but I keep hearing people say, hey, bestie. What are you doing? Hi, buddy. Did you wake up? Hi. 
Are you hungry? Do you want to eat? Anyway, I just FaceTimed Jen for a while. Jennifer is the girl who I did my driver's license cover with. So if you haven't seen my cover of driver's license, go watch it because it's awesome. You should also check out her music. I'm going to leave her Spotify in the description so you guys can listen to it because she's a great singer. We were actually having a conversation and I was talking about YouTubers making music and how some of them, not all of them, but some of them bother me is because I feel like they're just trying to like capitalize off their fame and like- Check, cash, check. Yeah, they're trying to throw money at something that they don't really care about and they just like know a producer or like have lots of money and they've always thought about maybe being a singer and thought it would be super cool to be a pop star. So they're like, I'm making music now. Moral of the story is Jennifer is not that. Jennifer is actually a really, really talented singer who is very passionate about music and is trying to start a new like side of her career doing music. And I think that's really admirable and cool. Not to mention she's actually really talented unlike a lot of these YouTuber girls who are trying to be singers. No offense to them. But most of them are not very talented, and I think we can all agree on that, okay? All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. I had a great day. Thanks for coming along with me. Subscribe if you want to keep with my life and all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Goodbye!